In this problem, we have a thin walled pressure vessel, 30 inch inner diameter, 3 8 wall thickness. Um, we have uh, a weld seam that uh, forms an angle of 50 degrees with a horizontal. And internal pressure is 200 psi. And um, yeah, I guess for purposes of uh, designing this weld to make sure that the seams don't rip apart, they're asking for the normal stress perpendicular to the weld and then the shear stress that's parallel to the weld. All right, so starting off, you know, this is a thin walled pressure vessel. So if I, if I pluck off a little element that is aligned uh, longitudinally and transverse, you know, to the, to the tank, and I take a look at the state of stress, because all that I have is the internal pressure of 200 psi, I will have a circumferential stress of PR over T. And then I will have a longitudinal stress, which is half of that, PR over 2T. In this case, the pressure is 200 psi. The radius of the tank is half of 30 inches, 15 inches. And then the thickness of the tank is 3 eighths of an inch, 0.375 inches. So when you calculate that, that gives you 8,000 psi, or I'll just take it to KSI, 8 KSI. Uh, since the longitudinal stress is PR over 2T, it's just going to be half of that for KSI. All right, let's pause right here for a second. Um, the thing that's significant about the state of stress with this thin wall pressure vessel, first of all, it's a biaxial state of stress. You have normal stresses on both the horizontal and vertical axis of this 2D element. Uh, but you know, bigger than that is uh, notice that there is zero shear stress. And if you think about more circle, uh, if you don't have if you don't have any shear stress, then immediately by default you're on your principal plane. I mean, this is it. Um, this PR over T and PR over 2T are the absolute maximum and minimum normal stresses you're going to get. So when I plot more circle. My major principal stress, um, the stress on the top and bottom of the element, is going to be 8 comma 0. The minor principal stress would be half of that, 4 comma 0. Center of the circle is uh, right there between the two. Um, and more circle, something like that. Okay, so we're actually on the principal planes. Uh, center is pretty easy to find, it's just the average of 4 and 8. So the center is 8 plus 4 divided by 2 is 6. And the radius is equally as easy, it's just the diameter divided by 2. So uh, in this case, 8 minus 4 uh, divided by 2 is 2. Okay, so now that I have the center and I have the radius, um, I can transform this uh, into just about anything, any orientation I want. But specifically, the orientation that I want is the orientation along that 50 degree seam from the horizontal. So if I rotate my element, uh, what's happening is I've got this seam that is at 50 degrees. And I want my element oriented with that seam so that the normal stress and shear stress that are acting on these faces parallel to the seam, that's, that's what I want. Uh, I don't care about what's happening on the face that's perpendicular. So we are basically ignoring that. Now if you think about it for a second, uh, this is rotated 50 degrees uh, on the actual tank, which means in more space we're not going to rotate 50, we're going to rotate 2 times that, 2 theta. So 2 times 50 degrees, we're going to rotate 100 degrees on my more circle to the right. So from where I'm currently at, if I take that diameter and I rotate it, notice clockwise, 
not 50, but 100 degrees, that, that would actually place my diameter uh, a little past the top and bottom. So uh, if I rotate clockwise, 100 degrees, um, then uh, that's the clockwise rotation on more, uh, on my more circle. All right. All we need to do now is figure out what these new coordinates are. But uh, again, because I'm only concerned with what's happening on the face of my element that's parallel to the seam, let's figure out which coordinate that is. Is it the is it the bottom most point or is it the top most point? Um, well, let me see. Uh, when that face started off unrotated, it was actually the PR over T major principal stress. Then it rotated 50 degrees and transformed into that stress. So let's follow that point on the circle. If I look at the uh, major principal stress, the 8 KSI, that starts off here, then that rotates clockwise Again, 50 over here on the element, however, it's 100 in the, on the circle, and ends up down at this point. So really what I care about is the X and Y, or normal stress, shear stress coordinates of this bottom most point. I don't really care about what's happening there because the coordinates of that point are the shear and normal stresses acting on this face that's perpendicular. And yeah, really, really don't, uh, really don't need that. Okay, so we're going after the coordinates of that bottom point. Um, so let me draw a little triangle here. If I draw a straight line down from the center, straight line over, make a little right triangle, and then I'll uh, zoom in on it over here to the left. The angle up at the top, uh, since I'm undergoing a full rotation of 100 degrees, and uh, straight down to the bottom is 90 degrees, then this should be 100 minus 90 is 10 degrees. I know the radius of the circle is 2, so I can use some uh, quick trig to get the legs. Uh, the vertical leg is going to be 2 times the cosine of 10, uh, which ends up being 1.97 and the bottom leg is going to be 2 sine 10 which is about 0.35 okay so in terms of the coordinates um, that coordinate the x and y coordinate uh, to get the x coordinate I could basically go out to the center and then back up that 0.35 I just calculated so, these, so that coordinate would be the center is a 6, and then I back up 0 0.35, and then the y coordinate, uh, notice it's down below, so it's going to be a negative, and that's uh, just the leg of the triangle, the 2 cosine 10, so negative 1.97. So when you calculate that, that gives you 5.65 comma negative 1.97. All right, so those and, and those stresses are in units of uh, KSI. Now, what does that look like on our element? Um, let's see, let's zoom in a little bit to my element here, and let's look at those two two parallel faces. Uh, again, the top of the box or the top of the element was the PR over T major principal stress that rotated and transformed into um, this face right here that's parallel and that has a positive 5.65 which means tension so 5.65 KSI tension trying to pull that seam apart and then we have a negative 1.97 shear stress. So negative, again, sign convention means uh, positive is rot makes the element rotate clockwise and negative counterclockwise. Uh, so that would be pointed this way. 
and that would be a magnitude of 1.97 KSI. So there is the normal stress and the shear stress acting at that 50 degree uh, scene.